In this episode of TensorFlow Tip of the Week, we'll look at how easy it is to incorporate TensorFlow Lite into an Android app. This is Android Studio with a simple empty app in it. To use TensorFlow Lite, the first thing that you need to do is add an implementation to your dependencies in Build Gradle. Also, make sure that your AAPT options is set to No Compress for TF Lite. You'll also need to put your model into your assets folder. Our model is called linear because it infers on a linear relationship of y equals 2x minus 1. Now in your main activity, there's also a few pieces of code that you'll need to add. The first of these is to import the TensorFlow Lite interpreter. Then you need to declare your interpreter object, and you'll construct the interpreter by passing it a function load model file, which loads the model from your assets folder as a mapped byte buffer. This app already has a button on it called infer button. On its click handler, you'll call a function called do inference, which uses the TensorFlow Lite model. You'll code that function next. Do inference receives an input string as the contents of an edit text. When we pass our values to the neural network, we need to put them into an array. This neural network just takes a single value as input, so we'll create that from the string that was sent into this function. The output from the neural network is a two-dimensional array with one value on each axis, so we'll specify that next. Then, to run the inference on the model, we simply call tflight.run and pass it the input and output values. tflight then writes the results to the output value so we can read it out into a float, which we then return to the calling function. Let's see what it looks like when we run it. So for example, if we input 10, the inferred value is 18.98, which is very close to the desired 19. And for 1, we infer 1.006, which is also really close. And that's not bad, considering this model was trained on only six items of data. To learn more about TensorFlow, visit tensorflow.org. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.